Hello there, today I will show you how you can save and load your game using initialization files or more common name, INI files. Um, to do that, we'll just create a new sprite called Sprite Coin and then load a fancy Bitcoin here. Let me just show you what we're going to make. We're just going to make a simple application where there are some coins on the screen. These circles are coins. And then when when you click a coin, it disappears. And then when you when you close the game and open it up again, the coin is still gone. So it's gone forever. It's like collecting stars in Super Mario. So that's basically what we're going to do. So we've got the sprite coin. So now let's make an object for it. Call it object coin. So when the coin loads, it needs to check if it already has been taken. And we do that in the create event. We first open up an ini file using ini open. And in here you put in the name of the ini file. In this case we will be using coins.ini. Then you need to read for a variable which is real, which is a number. So we say var uh, taken equals i and i read real, you tell the section, this will be the section coins, um, you tell it the key, the key will be the instance id of the object uh, as a string, so we say string id, because then you can put in multiple coins and then it will check it for all of them. As the default variable we'll put in minus one. The default variable is what it will return if the if the, the the key or the section is not found, or even the ini file is not found. Um, then it will become minus one. So at first everything will become minus one. Um, so if it is taken, then it will become something else than minus one. So we say if taken not equals minus one, then we need to destroy the coin and we do that by using instance destroy. Great. One thing that you always need to remember is to close the ini file after you've used it. We just do that by typing ini close. Great. So, when the coin is destroyed, we need to save uh, that that uh, no, let's say, let's do something else. When the, the when the coins clicked, it needs to save to the ini file that it has been destroyed. So we do that by saying ini open, and we need to put in the name of the ini file that was coins that i and i, and then we write the real variable that we have been taken. Just uh, like any read real, just by write instead. That way we can put in a variable in the file instead of reading it. Um, and in here, in the section, we need to put in the same section as we did in the create event. And as you see here, the section is coins. So we put in coins here. As key, we put in the same key as over here, which is string id. And for the value, we put in one. So when this has been uh, written and this reads it, it will uh, taken will be one, and therefore it will destroy itself. So any close, we need to close it after we've used it. And also, when you click the point, we want it to destroy. So we say instance destroy. Great. Now we should have it all running. Let's go ahead and create a room. Let's just make the background color white. And let us put in some coins. Whoops. Maybe the coin is a bit too big. We'll go ahead and make it a bit smaller here. Go ahead and scratch it. Say 25%. And we can put it in again. Let's go by three coins here. 
and three coins here, like that. Let's run the game and see what happens. So you see all the coins are here. Let's click one of them. It disappears as it should. When we close the game and run it again, the coin should still be gone. And as you see, the coin is still gone. Also, let's try it again by clicking all the coins except the one in the middle. The only coin that should remain is the coin in the middle. And it is there. So that's basically how you can save and load properties like that. If you ever want all of the coins to appear again, you can simply just delete the ini file and you do that by saying file delete and then the, the name of the ini file coins.ini and then you will see the file will be deleted and everything will return as minus one again. Just make sure that you remove this line like that. Alright, so now you've learned how you can save and load using INI files and it's actually really easy once you get used to it. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed and then subscribe I will be posting many of these tutorials. See ya later.